Well, hello again. I just wanted to make a quick little tutorial about how to make a different kind of body on a articulating print. So, I am going to show you. This is the dragon we made the last time. And instead of ha having this uh, scale body type uh, dragon like this, I wanted to show you a different kind of body type you can make. So I'm just going to take all of the work we did here. Of course I made a copy of it, uh, so I'd, I'm not editing in the original one. And I wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm going to take all of this away and I'm just going to keep the head. And I am going to ungroup so I get the hole covered in the body again like so and for this I'm going to have to cut off a bit of the ears because I need a clean space so I'm going to do a square box and do like this and just mark the head with the shift button like we learned last time and group them together like this. Now this is how I made my uh, heart bot bot love corgi design that I wanted to show you. So this is a fun kind of way to do stuff. So what we need is a cylinder uh, with as many sides as possible and I'm going to angle it at 90 degrees and then I am going to make it a very short one. So let's say, let's make it one in the thickness for now. <coughs> okay, we're going to need this to be bigger, let's see. Oh, not that big. Not that big. Um about 26 I think and now the thickness I still need to be about 1 it's ish. it's thick enough to print uh, and thick enough to use now I take my square here oh square wow my round thing here and I am going to lower it down just a bit underneath the the workspace bring it down a little bit still like that and then I'm going to bring it all the way into the body so I'm sure it's inside the head because we need to start the wiggly bit there so now we have this part so now I take this one and I copy it and I paste it inside and then what I do is I get a slight angle on this one and I'm just going to do five degrees and then I am going to uh, on the other end here where I want them to meet I'm going to make sure that this is all the way inside so they align so they don't have a gap here but now they have a, a gap here because this is where the printer is going to print air and this is where they would stay stick together so now what I can do I can mark this one and hold shift down and mark the other one and I can shape them together or group them together and then I will copy and paste again and I will just keep on placing these so on this side now where they meet I'm going to make sure they are on the same level here and over here like this and now I have two groups so I can mark these two groups and I can copy and paste them and I can keep doing this <coughs> and this way I get this little harmonica effect and the more you do the more you have to copy paste and the faster it is to do this so you see we take them out and we 
put them together here. And this looks about right. And now I'm going to mark them all and paste. And now we have a good amount. Now you can make this as long as you want or as short as you want. Now say we wanted this just to be like this, then I would mark them all here, except for the head. And I would group them all together, because if you start moving this around you might get in trouble, like so. And I'm thinking I'm just going to take all of these and just copy paste them again and have a long one here. And we can make a tail on the other end and then you actually have a harmonica-like thing you can print. And of course you can make these as thick or as thin as you want to. I'll just ungroup these and take the last two and just remove the one of them and now we have a nice even end here where we could mount a tail on so you could take yeah any kind of thing you wanted let's uh, go into the shapes generator and oops go into all and I want to fi find a special shape to show you um, we have different kinds of shapes that you can adjust so you are not bound to the form or shape that they have already. Let's see if we can find it. There are so many in here. So many. Let's see. Dum -dum -dum. Where are you? Probably all the way down in the bottom. Here we have it. This is called New Banana, for instance. I like to use this for when I want something curvy. So I take the banana, and then you can take the curvature here and put it at a max. And then you get this nice shape. You can adjust it the way you want it. So I could take this, for example, and then I could take the box and I could just say well I want it here and then I'll just hold shift down mark them both and un uh, group them and then I now have a stump for a tail I'll just realign this and make it bigger and of course do the same color here and make sure it's going into that last plate so it's it's not all the way in here as you can see but just aligned with the front here because then the printer will print it as a whole instead of uh, two separate separate things now I'm just going to align it just a little bit bigger and see how it looks from upside. There we have it. And now we actually have a uh, <laughs> a banana dragon thing. Of course, you could place legs on it. You could do a body part in the middle. You can sort of do whatever you want. Make it a wobbly dragon. Let's put some. things on the this end you could make little legs for him or you could place uh, objects by his side say we wanted a dice here you could do that it could be a dice dragon but yeah that's actually quite a simple way of uh, of doing this and of course you need to cut off what's underneath like we usually do 
So I just make the square box and just make sure it's large enough and you take it down and minus 20 and we just well I got all of these unmarked I can see that so we just take this one away and mark these and group and just put the dice in here I don't know why I, I wanted the dice there just did I'm sorry for the background noise my dog is being noisy right now um, but yeah that's basically how you make the the hard corgi design you just take a head and a tail part and then you do it like this and then you have a wobbly harmonic uh, like print in place thing I don't know what you call this it's like a slinky but it still isn't a slinky I don't know the word for it um, I, there was just one shape that I wanted to share with you this is the one this one is called extrusion this is actually quite a good shape and I, I use it a lot um, see when you place it down it just looks like an ordinary cylinder but you can actually edit the, the way it looks so you have these little points you can push or pull in and you can make all kinds of shapes and you can adjust the angles and you can do all sorts of crazy looking designs and stuff like this you see it mirrors exactly what it is you do here and you can adjust the height of it and it's a neat little one to have I always have it marked as a favorite because I do use it and up here you can see the favorites that, you, that you have so these are some of my favorites I like this one to use to cut out uh, corners because it has this sh shape and you can also play around with this with the radio and what you want it to look like it's a good shape but yeah I hope uh, this little tutorial on how to make this weird harmonica thing helps you out if you have any suggestions for any tinkercad tutorials please feel free to write a comment or catch me on yeah tiktok or facebook or wherever you usually catch me so you take care now bye